Hi there, my name is Shelley Helmbricht and I am very happy to be here with you today to share with you my story. My story about becoming uh, very ill and then my recovery to becoming much healthier. Uh, but before I tell you about the story, I'd like to first share with you about my background a little bit. Uh, I am a nutritionist and exercise physiologist, and I have devoted the last 20 years of my life uh, to helping other people get healthier and have a better quality of life. Also, I think it's important for you to know that uh, I was a competitive swimmer starting at age five. Uh, I, I lived up in Michigan, and they allowed five and unders to actually compete. Uh, and I absolutely uh, loved the sport and was so passionate about it and swam from age five at a very high competitive level all the way through college. And even beyond college, I continued to train at a very high intense level. I, I began doing triathlons. I started doing long distance running. I was doing open water swims. And uh, little did I know at the time that I was really literally tearing my body apart. Um, I didn't know this um, and continued to do it for a long time, but I stayed pretty healthy for most of my, my life until at about age 35. And that's when I began to crash. And I literally was unraveling at the seams. Uh, and here I was, ironically, teaching others how to get healthier and live a higher quality of life, and I was not doing that myself. It was a very difficult time in my life. Um, and I didn't know what was happening. I had very unusual symptoms. I felt at some times like I was having a heart attack. Uh, I felt like I became very, very fatigued. Um, I also felt like um, my muscles were aching all the time. And I went, like most people, from doctor to doctor trying to get help. And unfortunately, they couldn't diagnose me with anything. Fortunate but unfortunate. Um, all they were able to do was just basically tell me that I was um, probably depressed, like many women in their mid-30s and also um, anxious and, and you know, having insomnia uh, because of the age that I was at. Uh, what I didn't tell you also is at the time when I was experiencing these symptoms, I was trying to get pregnant and I was unsuccessful and having a lot of stress, chronic stress from that. Um, and then finally, I went to, got to the point where I had to do some infertility. I did get pregnant and then I, I had three miscarriages in a row. Um, which contributed to the stress and the anxiety that I was having. So I sought out treatment, and of course the, the natural treatment that doctors send you to is because you're anxious and depressed, let's put you on some SSRIs, antidepressants, and anxiety medication to help you feel better, which I did because I didn't know any other way to go. And I did start feeling better, um, and along the, the way I finally got pregnant after being pumped full of, of many different drugs and hormones through infertility. Um, I was able to have a baby um, very successfully, um, felt like my life should now be filled with joy, and after having the baby, unfortunately, I had another really, really deep, hard crash and became very, very ill to the point that I could not take care of myself, let alone a little baby. And what I found was, again, after seeking treatment, is that they told me I was going through a very common thing called postpartum uh, depression. And so the common treatment for that was to put me again on some very hardcore SSRIs and um, insomnia medication and, and drugs. Uh, I did end up feeling better over a period of time, but it took some time and I did get better. But I still was not at a point where I felt real good. Um, I, I still was having some symptoms of anxiety, um, symptoms of depression. Um, they weren't all gone. And I just felt overall not, not well. So after about 12 years of working and talking to Russ, and I will give you a little bit of history in our background, Russ and I met um, about 20 some years ago. We were swimmers on a master swim team. We were partners in crime and abusing our, our bodies with intense exercise. The higher the intensity, the, the better we felt about ourselves and thought we were doing our bodies justice when in reality we were really tearing ourselves up. And I didn't know this. Um, I was unaware of this until I went to Russ um, and, and in the Institute and, and sought out help from him. Uh, unfortunately, it took me 12 years of him telling me about what he was doing <laughs> and how it could help me, and I didn't, didn't think that you know, it, was, it was for me at the time. But I finally went there after 12 years, and I was so grateful to um, talk to Russ uh, and have him tell me you know, what was really going on with my body. I had no idea. I thought I was going crazy. I really did. And I know there's a lot of other women out there who feel this way as well. And uh, I just hope that I can offer you some help because what Russ did for me and at the Institute was share with me how he could treat my body as a whole unit versus as separate entities. 
And most medical practitioners, unfortunately, aren't doing that. And they're just wanting to give you a medication to help you get better, which they're not doing it in a mean way. It's just they know nothing else. That's all they know. So Russ um, tested me immediately for um, deficiencies, not only from a hormonal standpoint, but also from a nutritional deficiency standpoint. And here I was a nutritionist and didn't even realize, although I ate a very healthy diet, I was not absorbing nutrients effectively. And I learned this from Russ and I was blown away at how my gut, my intestinal gut lining, um, really controlled most of what was going on up in my brain, my brain chemistry. This was all new to me and very, very overwhelming um, because I had no idea that this was happening to me. So he tested me for my hormonal deficiencies as well as my nutritional deficiencies, and we found out right away that I was extremely low, surprise, surprise, in progesterone, which is what they pumped me full, full of when I was going through my pregnancy in order to be able to hold that, the fetus. Um, but I, if I had only known that when I had the baby that it was not that I was depressed, it was not that, that something was wrong with me up in my brain, it was because I, ha I needed progesterone. It was a hormone that I was really deficient in now since I had been pumped so full of it, and now my body was completely depleted. But it took me a long time, as I mentioned, to get to Russ and the Institute to get help. So progesterone, I learned, is, is a feel-good hormone, and it's what really makes you, you feel good and, and feel, have that sense of well-being and also a sense of calmness and ability to be able to sleep better. And I had n pretty much none of it. <laughs> so immediately after testing me, he put me on some progesterone and as well as some uh, B-complex uh, injectables and B12. And those vitamins are extremely important because um, you, we start to lose the ability to absorb them as we get into our late 30s and early 40s, and almost everybody needs them. I also found that out as well. Even being a tr nutritionist, didn't realize I was not absorbing them correctly. So after about, um, you know, probably a few months of working with the Institute and getting on the, the uh, progesterone and, um, you know, the, the B12 vitamins, I started to notice a, a gradual improvement in how I was feeling. The first thing I noticed is I, I wasn't so fatigued anymore, and I was having a lot more energy and just feeling more like um, playing with my, my young daughter at the time and um, feel, just being just overall a better feeling. But uh, the, the anxiety and depression took a little bit longer to lift um, because as I learned again from Russ and the Institute that it, when you're dealing with natural hormones, it's not an overnight success. And I think that's very important for people to understand. It takes a while for these to uh, get into your system and to really start working. It's not like a pharmaceutical where you take it and then all of a sudden you feel better pretty quickly, but you have horrible side effects from taking it. And that's what I really liked after, uh, about Russ and the Institute when I talked to him and about the method of treatment is that this was going to be a healthy route for my body, something that was not going to cause severe side effects, which I was looking to get away from. I, I being a nutritionist, wanted to, to always go in the, the most natural way possible. And that's what I really liked about his route and his method. Um, and so it, it, what I'm trying to get across here to all of you who may be listening to this is uh, if you are having symptoms that have been gone you know, undetected or undiagnosed and nobody's giving you answers and they just want to put you on medicine, please don't do what I did and wait forever to, to get help. There is a way that you can get help in a natural way. And all you have to do is call Russ at the Institute and he will sit down with you at no cost for an initial consultation and give you a wealth of information about how he can help you get better and feel better and live the kind of life you want to live. So uh, don't do what I did and wait 12 years. Um, your, your health is your most precious resource and your most valuable resource. So isn't it, isn't it uh, important for you to put that first? Thank you very much for listening, and I hope that I was able to help some of you.